We're back with Rachel Law for the third demonstration of bubblies and bubbles. So this time, Rachel, what's a bubble? So a bubble is of uh, information and services pinned to a place or time, where like when you walk into a place, it shows you a specific experience. So in this case, let's say I'm making a bubble for my store. I can add all the clothing items, and then I can add my branding, and then like what I want the type of experience to be. I want it to be a retail experience. I want a hashtag to it. So everybody who uses this hashtag, I automatically pull it up. And then I want a color palette and a specific map of my store. And this is particularly useful for really large stores that have four or five floors in them. Can any store use this? Yeah, any store can use it. You can use it for a pop-up store. You can use it for like a mall and then a, a store in a mall. So you can create like various experiences of, oh, you step into a mall and then you have one experience. When you step into a shop inside the mall, you have a mm. different experience. So the whole mall could use it or any part of the mall? Any part of the mall and, any, and, and basically any kind of shopping experience. So our platform um, caters to whatever that is considered an event. And um, shopping is also considered a kind of sure, event. Sure. So as long as for like large things like mall, you can use GPS. For smaller things like in a store, will use iBeacon or Bluetooth LE Sure. So to give you the Local. best target experience. So I, I see you with a smartphone and a little wearable item there. Yeah. And I saw the rack of clothes. So what's happening? So uh, let's say I walk into a store and then it knows that I've been here for like several times. So I'm, I'm a member of the store and I have like VIP pass. And it tells me that my loyalty has been rewarded so I get a 20% off. And then, um, and then I can slide to accept the uh, voucher okay. and then I can look at the so code. You get a coupon right on your... Yeah, I get okay. a coupon right there. So it's like on point, point of sale marketing. Wow. Yeah, I walk past the store, I immediately know that, you know, it tells me that yes, this is a brand that I love and then it tells me that, okay, it's got a flash sale. I want sale. you to come in. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I come in and then I can see like what's on sale and then I can tap it to my wristband because like they have Bluetooth stickers on them and then I can get reviews. So this one has a customer review of like four stars. So I think maybe I should wait for the next party. It looks pretty good. <laughs> but then, you know, there's this thing too. So, you know, I can just tap it and then I can find out more information. It tells me this one runs small. Should I get it or not? I'm not really sure. Um, but I can slide to save it and maybe think about it. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes wish listed for me. Okay. And then, and that works for any other thing that has a Bluetooth uh, sticker on it. And then if I, let's say, let's go back to the one that I think I'm going to buy. And then I, I can, and then I can tap it again. And then it can tell me that since I'm going to buy it, I should pair it with a pair of Bison high top sneakers. Cause it, I think okay. it'll look really good with sneakers. Sure. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe <laughs> more dressy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I can pair this with a pair of sneakers and then all and then my entire retail experience I can just take this with me and leave the store and um, it'll, it'll go back to like and then when I leave the store it just automatically purchases it. Okay. How, how is the smartphone and this wrist wearable working together? What's so basically it works that um, it's device agnostic hmm. so you can use your phone to tap on the iBeacon okay. bracelet or you can use your smartwatch to tap on your okay. I, on the um, iBeacon and it would still work. We're not linked to any specific device. Bubbly is a platform and so the bubbles on it are platform based mm -hmm. and we try when we believe in connected devices we believe that it means that the platform works across any connected device sure it is the connector for the connected devices uh, and i can see the benefits to the consumer no question what's what's the business model for the store what's in this for the store so for the store you have analytics so let's say i bought this and then um it can tell me thanks for buying it and then I'll see um, see me soon. And I can take a picture of it and upload it to the hashtag that I've already made. But for the store owner, um, they can see the feedback. So let's say I say I had a great shopping experience. And then, you know, I go back to looking at Bubbly and maybe I want to buy something else. And let's say, let's have a, you know, I don't think this is for you. So no, maybe we should find a royal. That that one looks good. <laughs> maybe we should get you something like uh, more like normal, like maybe a, another tie, a blue tie, to, a glittery tie to match a suit. So I can go like, hey, uh, can I search for a tie to match your suit? 
and it will automatically show me like the map of where it is located in the next store. Okay. So maybe the tie is not here, but it's in another store. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very so, good. So um, that's 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 for the consumers, um, even after the experience. And as a store owner, I can find out um, where the inventory is. So, like for instance, the tie is in the next store mm -hmm. across, and that's where it's at. And we can go there later. I can find out the feedback that I put slid on my wristwatch. And then I can find out um, how many people bought this, who bought what, and then how many, and how was the experience overall. So was it a loyalty member who used this experience, or was it a first-time visitor and who bought m which of what kind? And this is really useful for a business Absolutely. owner sure. because, like, it's analytics, but it's analytics that doesn't intrude on personal privacy because we're all using personas. Right. Does it help them manage their inventory in the store, or is that is it more of a consumer focus? Um, it can use it can be used both ways. We call them admins and users, mm -hmm. but they're basically that's all kind of uh, that we have different experiences for yes. both. So for the admins of data bubbles, yeah, um, we have analytics, and then we we have inventory tracking. Um, as long as they have like the Bluetooth stickers, right. you can just tap them onto the sales tag. They work like your RFID. Kind of normal sales tags. And, and as a consumer, can I have more than one shopping persona, or just? Yes, you can have as many shopping really? personas as you mm -hmm. like. You can say like, now this is my persona for shopping for wine. So please give me the most relevant discounts for you know when I'm shopping for groceries. Mm -hmm. Please give me the most relevant discounts when I'm shopping for like party clothes. And please give me the most relevant discounts when I'm um, maybe I'm out socializing with my friends and I want to like go to a great restaurant. And it's making uh, making personas is free, just like making bubbles are free, because we believe that like um, for the Internet of Things to grow, everybody has to get connected together. Yes. And the only way to get connected together is to have a platform that connects everybody. Thank you. Thank you.